that's good. All right, welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Gold, episode five. Today we will be getting to going through Union Cave and probably taking on the Slowpoke well. Also, today I'm not using my joystick since I'm eating a banana ice pop. So I'm playing one-handed and I will be using my keyboard. As before, my team is a level 10 Gasly named Jess, a level 16 Quilava named Flames that I failed to evolve two levels in a row, and an egg. Anyway, heading down this route, 32 I think maybe, we will hopefully be catching our third teammate. I'm hoping it's a Wooper. Hey, give me my miracle seed. And yeah, again, I'm. Hmm, that's weird. Why is my sound not working? There, now my sound's working. Okay. I couldn't figure out why my sound was off. Oh well. Anyway, this dude just gave me a miracle seed. Okay. And we are heading south. And the first patch of grass we get into the battle. And unfortunately we encounter a bell sprout. Damn. And I'm gonna speed through these battles. I haven't seen you run here before, so you think you're pretty tough. I think this guy just has like a Rattata and a Zubat. So we're gonna speed through this one as well. Actually, I'm gonna switch to Flava for this. Zubat. And I will switch to Ghastly for this battle, or for this Pokemon. Lick. Speed. So I defeated him. <laughs> no, I'll run away from that, so I can't hit him with Castly. So I was gonna actually do this episode last night when after I got home from McDonald's and stuff. But upon arriving home, I ended up getting into a fight with well, I guess the best word to describe her is an X. She freaked out on me because I'm a writer, and a while back she asked me to incorporate a character based on her into one of my stories. So I did. And, um... It was loosely... All the characters in the story were loosely based on people I know in my life, and she didn't like the way she was portrayed, even though it was damn near truthful. Completely truthful. So we got into a fight about that, and of course... I've known her for a year and I know her better than anyone. And I knew that her anger was about more than just a story, and I found out what she was all angry about today, and it was a bunch of drama. So, because I had to deal with that, I wasn't able to do episode 5 this episode last night. But anyway, enough about my boring drama. Since I failed to get me a Wooper here, I am hoping I can get me a Sandshrew in the cave. Oh, I'm not changing. I'm going to use a potion. Yes, I do typically fight all the trainers I can. Ooh, 
Yeah, except for that, I'm gonna switch to flames for. And actually, my family returned from the Spartans late last night, and they're kind of sleeping in today. But I do expect at least one of them to come down and interrupt me in the middle of this, so. If you hear other voices, it's them. Seriously? Come on. I'm just gonna let Flames take care of this one, too. No PP left for that move, okay. Oh, shit. Switch into it. Oh. No, he doesn't use, like, water gun. That should be good. And my mom just bought an item. Probably a super potion. Ah, oh, I meant to dodge him. And there's a fucking looper I wanted. Level 17 for lava. Yeah, and this guy's going to ask me to buy a magic or er, slow poke tail. And there's a poison or er, grape ball. The whole poison barb was there. Or is that what Frida gives you? Every day of the week, there's a person who will give you an item on a different location in Johto. On Fridays, it's Frida, and she'll appear right where I was just at. And I think, I'm pretty sure she hands out a poison barb. This fisherman. Mm. As you can see, it gives an old rod, which is good for catching magic carp. Um, but I'm not gonna bother. I've already tried capturing Pokemon on this round and I failed, so. I almost always use a Mary in my playthrough, but damn it, I can't. I really do gotta start paying attention when I start these recordings, though, because I think my Pokemon is 15 minutes. Because I think at that point all he had was horn attack, which he can't use against the ghost type, which is good. For the sake of time, I'm not going to try and collect any out of the way items in the cave right now. Um, I'll probably off screen that when I do some training here in a bit. I'm actually not going to switch, I'm just going to hurt you guys. There we go. Now I hope I get a sand through here. Yeah, and I hope the speed up the sound distortion it causes doesn't bother anybody, but it's a lot quicker just to do it this way than to play at normal speed during these battles. If I get a Zubat, I'm gonna be pissed. I don't want Zubat anymore. I mean, I do, but. Okay, well. We got a Zubat. I'm gonna use that, actually. Um. I'll start with a Lick Attack. Please don't knock it out, though. I'm gonna let him go for- oh shit. I'm gonna Great Ball just to make sure- what?! A little 5 escape from a Great Ball? And I'm gonna nickname him... Veet. 
French for fast or quick. I don't know. I haven't five years of French down the drain, you know. I'll train him later, though. Shit. Oh, I'm out of PB for that. Again. Shit. Okay. Ember. I'm gonna go and just finish off the battle with him. I think my Flames is actually strong enough to take on Bugsy. He has a Vulpix. Attack it. There we go. That makes me nervous, because I think at that level they know Rock Throw, don't they? Oh shit, they do. I'm gonna not switch out, because I don't wanna. Oh my god! I almost lost my lava. This Team Rocket guy is blocking the well, but all we gotta do is talk to Kurt for that to go away. Let's go do that real fast. Hmm. Yeah, he gets white Evercorn. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to get Kurt to go ahead and knock that rocket gun out of the way. Then I'm going to heal up and um, finish up. So with that, I'm going to off screen and train a little bit and hopefully hatch that egg. And then I'll come back to episode 6. And with that, I will catch you guys later. Hope you're going to have fun. Or enjoy it. Whatever. You know what I mean. Bye.